Good afternoon. Today is the 11th of January. Um, I'm trying a new camera setup here because uh, the camera I normally use has actually died temporarily. Um, so hence um, the difference in picture quality. I hope it's not too distracting for you. Anyway, uh, we're going to finish up um, talking about the top 10 best-selling cars of 2020 uh, by looking at the overall picture for the whole year. So that's January right away through to December of last year and seeing what the overall sales figures were. Largely, we've been keeping a track of the market trends within the UK car industry for registrations in 2020 and breaking it down by a month-to-month -month basis. But overall, we can see that the sales figures for um, 2020 as a whole were about 1.63 million cars sold as opposed to uh, 2019 which were 2.31 million cars sold that's a difference of about 29.4 percent obviously a decrease of that now the way we're going to look at all these other figures is that there are market shares for private fleet and business and they're the top there are the top 10 um best-selling cars overall for the year also, it is a breakdown by fuel. Again, the market share percentage change. And then there are different brands that feature on the UK car market. And again, look at the market share and um, percentage overall change. So with 2020 as a whole, private sales were down by 26.6%. Uh, the market share um, for uh, 20. 20 was about 46 percent versus uh, 44 percent in 2019 so the private sector became more important the fleet sector uh, that was a, a even more of a decrease it was a 31.1 percent decrease on 2019 market share was 53 percent it's now 52 percent so again um you know became a little bit less important For um, business sector, this is a much smaller thing than fleet. The percentage change was 43% down. The market share was down from 2.6% in 2019 to 2.1% in 2020, but that's not significantly different. Let's talk about the uh, type of fuel that's powering the cars that were sold in this country in 2020. Diesel, 55% down. Market share went down from 25% to 16%. Mild hybrid diesel, which is things like, oh gosh, all kinds of things, various Volkswagen Group products and Kias and Hyundais and et cetera, et cetera. There's loads of mild hybrid diesel now. The change of this was an increase of 79.6%. Um, the market share increased from 1.5% in 2019 to 3.7% in 2020. Petrol, like diesel, big decrease, 39%. Uh, well over 1.4 million cars were sold in, last year in Britain that were petrol powered. This is now down to 900,000. The percentage of the market in 2019 was 64%. Now it's 55%, so a 39% decrease. With mild hybrid petrol, this includes, for example, Suzuki's entire range. Uh, I think the Nissan Duke, Ford Puma, it's a mild hybrid version of that as well. Just going on and on and on and on, so many. In 2019, the market share of that was 18%. It's now 7, sorry, 1.8%. It's now 7.3%. It's a 184% increase. 184%. Crazy. With battery electric vehicles, this is uh, you know pure electric cars like the um, Nissan Leaf, Tesla Model Three, then uh, you know MG Z SUV, MG Five EV, a lot Renault Zoe. One point six percent in twenty nineteen, now six point six percent, a one hundred and eighty six percent increase, even more so than mild hybrids. Plug in hybrids, despite having no government grants anymore on them up from 1.5% in 2019 to 4.1% in 2020. 
a 91% increase. Hybrid electric vehicles, not so much of an increase. This is things like the Toyota Prius, Toyota Corolla, uh, Hyundai Ioniq, which has a just a normal hybrid option. This is up from 4.3% to 6.8%, but a 12% increase. And overall, it's a 29.4% decrease um, in the car market, you know, year upon year, 2019 to 2020. So with the top 10 best-selling cars of 2020, uh, number one, no surprise, Ford Fiesta, 49,000 cars approximately. Second is Vauxhall Corsa, just over 46,000 cars, almost 46,500 actually. Number three is the Volkswagen Golf. Top three are very close. 43,100. Fourth is the Ford Focus. Not so far really behind the Golf. Um, 39,400. Next to Mercedes A Class. Again, very close. A lot of these are very close together. 37,600 for the A Class. Kashkai, perennial top 10 bestseller in this country for so long. Uh, just under 40,000 cars, it's in 6th place. Mini, 7th place, uh, just over 31,000 cars. Polo, that's in 8th place, just under 27,000 cars. The Puma, which is in 9th place, that'll be a much bigger seller next year, I think. Uh, just over 26,000 cars. And then the Volvo XC40. Who said Volvo were an exclusive car brand? They're clearly not anymore. Um, 25,000 cars. Now, with all of these things, I'm talking about sales, but actually I mean registrations. It's a technicality, but I do have to mention it. Um, but sales is just a, a bit easier for me to deal with in terms of a concept as opposed to registrations. So this is my favourite bit of these videos that we make. Uh, it's actually looking at the brands individually and seeing what their market share was in 2019 and what it is in 2020 and what the change has been. So first as always is Abart, part of the Fiat Chrysler Group or now Stellantis. They had a market share of 0.15% in 2019 and um, in 2020 they had a market share of 0.14%. But the percentage change is actually minus 32%. So they've gone from about 3,500 cars or something like that to 2,400. Alfa Romeo, another Stellantis brand. The, the change is minus 38%. It was 0.15 market share and now it's 0.13. So they're a bit of a minority brand now, Alfa Romeo. Alpine, uh, first year we've, I think, had data you know, year upon year for them. Owned by Renault, of course, and Nissan. The change is a uh, 39% decrease, a uh, 0.1% market share in either way. It's a very small number of cars sold, so only 105 in 2020 and in 2019, 171. Audi, 22.4% decrease, just over 6% of the market share as opposed to 6.6% last year. Um, 138,000 cars 2019, 108,000 cars 2020. Bentley, 16% decrease, 0.7% market share 2019. Um, uh, sorry, 0.7% market share 2019. Um, but although it had a decrease, the market has actually increased because the market's down by about 30%. So it's remarkable that actually, um, with an decrease in set in, in sales. Um, Bentley have actually increased their market share. Make of that what you will. BMW minus 32%. Um, they were 7.34% market share. Now they're about 7% almost dead. Um, but the number of sellers has gone down 170,000 to about 115,000. Citroen, another um, Stellantis brand now. 45% decrease. It was 2.2% market share. That's 1.7, and the, the actual sales have almost halved from 51,000 to 28,000. Remarkable, remarkable decline. Um, yeah, don't know what's going on with that. Dacia, I'm just going to be over Cupra because they've only been on sale um, for you know one 
year in this calendar that they're using. Dacia down 39%, was 1.34%, is now 1.16%. Uh, I'll just actually look and see if, if MG have sold more cars than Dacia this year. No, they haven't. Not quite. Almost. Almost sold more cars than Dacia this year, MG. So Dacia just sold 19,000 for 2020. DS, that was um, a 0.19% market share in 2019. It's now a 0.15% market share. It's a big decrease. It's 4,300 down to 2,400 and a 40. 5% decrease. Fiat, another Stellantis brand, um, down 36% from 2019, 1.29% market share to 1.18, um, about 30,000 cars down to about 19,000 cars, so a big decrease. Ford, similar kind of decrease, and again a decrease in market share too, uh, down from 10.22%. Down to um nine point three seven percent. It's a thirty five percent decrease, and about two hundred thirty six thousand cars to about one hundred fifty three thousand cars. Honda again similar decrease, thirty seven point eight two percent decrease, one point nine percent market share, down to one point seven percent market share. Um, forty four thousand cars down to twenty seven thousand cars. Hyundai, massive decrease for Hyundai. I don't really know why either, particularly, because Hyundai makes some very good cars. Nevertheless, 43% um, decrease, 3.6% um, of market share, down to 2.9% market share, and 83,000 down to 48,000. Jaguar, um, again, another decrease, 29% down. It's exactly the same market share, but 1.5%, but it's down from... 36,000 cars, 26,000 cars. So that just shows you how much the car market shrunk in 2020. Jeep, another Stellantis brand, uh, minus 25%. Um, the 0.27% market share, though, has only gone to 0.28. So despite the decrease in sales, uh, 6,200 to 4,600, they've actually gained market share slightly. Kia, um, again, Quite disappointing the Kia. You know, again, they make some very good cars. Um twenty eight percent drop in um in market share. Um the um number of cars sold was almost hundred thousand last year, ninety seven thousand, and it's uh it's down to seventy thousand five hundred. Four point two percent to four point three. Crazy, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Land Rover. So twenty four percent decrease, three point three one percent market share down to three point five nine again. Market's declining massively anyway. Seventy seven thousand cars down to fifty eight thousand five hundred. Lexus, um, not that bad a decrease actually. Twelve point um six percent decrease, zero point six eight percent market share, zero point eight four. Um, fifteen. 1,700 cars down to 13,700 cars. Maserati, uh, another Stellantis brand, uh, down 37% from 930 to 590. And still a 0.4% market share, it's about the same. Mazda, 43% decrease, 1.7% market share down to one4 uh, 40,100 cars down to um, 23,000 cars. Teddy's Benz, 35% decrease, 7.4% uh, market share down to 6.8. 170,000 cars, um, approximately down to about 110,000 cars. MG, you now this is going to butt the trend. Last year, they had a 0.57% market share. They've now got a 1.13% market share. They were up 41%. From thirteen thousand one hundred cars to four to eighteen thousand four hundred cars, absolutely remarkable. Very 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 hard to get any increase in market share with them and for anyone, and they made it. Mini twenty nine percent down, a two point eight percent um again to two point eight three. You know um again you know that's as much as you can expect in a market like that. Um sixty four. 1,800 cars, 
uh, down to 46,000. Mitsubishi down 44%, 0.7% market share. Last year, 16, 2019, 16,200. 2020, um, 9,000.56. Nissan. Very popular cars, Nissans in this country, particularly the Duke of the Qashqai, um, which I think are still made over here. Um, or the Dukes, I think, are made in, in France. I, someone could correct me about that. I, I, I get confused with which Nissans are made over here. Um, they had a 4% market share in 2019. They were they sold 92,400 cars. It's now down to 72,000 cars, but because of the overall decline in the market, it's up to 4.41%. Peugeot, 29% decrease, 3.5% market share 2019. Um, 80,900 cars sold. Uh, it's now 57,200, and it's slightly improved the market share to 3.51. Polestar, I'm going to skip over because they've only been selling cars this year. Uh, Porsche, 6.4% decrease not too bad and this actually has led to an increase in market share um from 0.66 percent to 0.88 percent market share uh 15,250 cars as opposed to 14,284 cars Renault 28 percent decrease 2.56 percent market share in 2019 and 59,100 cars sold to 42,750 cars and a 2.62% market share. Sayat, um, same story as a lot of brands on the list. 34% decrease, 2.98% market share, and 20, sorry, 68,800 cars sold in 2019, down to 45,400 and a 2.78% market share. Skoda probably done a bit better actually. They tend to be better than Seat in this country. Um, twenty eight one point eight percent decrease, three point two five percent market share twenty nineteen, and seventy five thousand cars sold this year. About fifty nine thousand cars sold and a three point six percent the market share. Smart. Um, last year they sold about four thousand cars. Uh, that was a point one seven percent of the market share. They had a 66% decrease and um, sold 1,377 cars and a 0.08% market share. Sanyong, um, last year they sold 1,900 cars. It's a 0.08% market share. This year, um, they've actually increased the market share slightly to 0.09%, but they only sold about 1,500 cars. Subaru, massive decrease. They... Uh, it's gone down by um, 68%. Sanyo ran down by 23%. S Subaru down by 68%. Uh, last year, it was a 0.13% market share, three, about 3,000 cars. This year, 951 cars sold and 0 0.06. Suzuki, again, quite a big decrease, 43%. 1.59% of the market share and 35,000 cars sold last year. Uh, now it's 1.22 and 20,000 cars sold. Toyota, they haven't done too badly, 13% um, decrease, uh, 105,000 cars sold to a 4.5% market share. This year, because of what the market's done, fewer cars, 92,000 cars, and a five, but it's a 5.6% market share. Vauxhall, 40% uh, decrease, was 6.9% market share, 160,000 cars last year. This year, 95,000 cars, 5.85% market share. Volkswagen, um, despite the 26% decrease, their market share has gone from 8.7% to 9.09%. They sold over 200,000 cars last year, and now they're down to um, 148,000. Let's just see uh, how Fords compare. Yeah, Ford is still in the lead, but not by much at all. Volvo was 2.43% um, last year, 56,200 cars sold, and now it's uh, 46,400 cars sold, 2.85% market share, and a 17% decrease. Other importers, this is mainly Tesla, last year was 14,600 cars sold, 0.63% of the market share. 
and uh, this year, 26,000 cars sold approximately, 1.6% market share, a 78% increase. So there we are. Those were the top 10 best-selling cars of 2020 overall. And quite a lot of them was very depressing news. Obviously, the only brands to have had a significant increase were Tesla and MG. So there we are. Um, I hope you uh, found that interesting. I know that it's a bit of a minority interest, this, um, apart from some of my subscribers who love it. So we continue to do it. Anyway, thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fascinating statistics and other um, exciting videos. Um, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below. Um, please um, switch on notifications if you'd like to be informed of when videos go live. Uh, just click the bell and uh, allow notifications. Uh, links to Instagram and Facebook are in the video description below. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.